And we're live. Well, so we're Not live. But not I mean, live. Shut up. We're recording. We got this. Um, <laughs> we're changing up the format a little bit because bourbon reviews are kind of boring. So we picked up some barrel picks, and we're going to pick up more barrel picks next week and the week after and the week after. And we're going to pit the pickers against the pickers. So this is barrel pick battles. Uh, today's 1792. Uh, Kevin, two of these are yours. What do you got? Uh, I have the Minden Meat and Deli barrel pick select. And then I also picked up the Rayleigh's corporate barrel pick select. Okay. Which one do you have? And I brought in the Rayleigh's one uh, pick from Galena specifically for that store. And what, what was his name? Jeff. Jeff. Uh, and Kevin is Minden Meat and Deli. And yes. I believe Cody does the Rayleigh's corporate picks. I believe you're right. Cody, I'm not 100% we, sure. I think I know his last name. We're not going to go over that. You're better at this. All right. Than I am. So what we're going to do is we change up the review a little bit. So it's going to be 30, 30, 20, 20 nose palette finish impression. Uh, if you win, you get 10 points. Split decision, five each. Uh, loser to a barrel pick, another barrel pick, um, zero. If we find a shelf product, so if we have a Buffalo Trace barrel pick, barrel pick, and a Buffalo Trace regular and you lose to the R Buffalo Trace regular, you're going to lose 20 points. And we're going to do picks from these people over and over and over again, and we're going to find the best picker in the area, and sometimes not in the area. Because uh, next week we have an old Forester pick from somewhere in Texas. Ooh. ooh, actually, the Russell's pick, I have one of the YouTuber guys. The YouTuber guys? Yeah, I bought a, a Russell's pick from ADHD Whiskey. How'd you manage that? Oh, they do it all the time. You just order online. Oh, nice. Um, so we're going to put that up against the Rayleigh's one pick and maybe another Russell's if we can find one. What are you doing? Well, Did you break your microphone? No, it's just a little off, so I sound a little distant in that area. What was that over there? Ah, Grandpa Will. All right. I let's, mean, Uncle Will. Let's do these. Let's start tasting these things. I don't like a dude disappointed Will face. Dis one? I'm not sure what disappointed Will face looks like, if I'm being honest. It's a normal face. Are we doing uh, just smell? I'm just going to do nose. You can do whatever you're comfortable with. I'm doing nose, 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 palate, palate, palate. One is yours. Yeah, so I labeled them. So the Rayleigh's one pick is number one. I didn't want to do it blind. The Minden oh, yeah. pick is number two, and the Rayleigh's corporate pick is number three. Well, I mean, if it's going to be a battle, we got to know who they are. We can do it blind later. The Rayleigh's one pick is a lot sharper, I think. I thought, I thought the... Yeah, the number one. Yeah. The number two is kind of dull compared to it. Yeah, I'm not sure I like one more than the other, but they're definitely different. So we're going to go. I'd say two is closer to three. Yeah, I think that's right. For uh, nose. All right. Let's try these things. One drink's a little hot. Imagine that. Seriously, Kevin's just beside himself right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We're going to do this fair. A uh, little bit of water. Uh, you don't have a spitter to spit the water in. <laughs> Why would you spit the water? You'd spit the whiskey. But we're not, we're not spitting the whiskey. I mean, we watched both. Uh, we watched him all the way through. He's spitting the water and the whiskey. I don't know why. Oh, Minnick? Yeah. I kind of like the nose on one more. I do, too. I scored it just a couple points higher. Um, two has a better... I think I like the flavor of one better, but two has a more comfortable mouthfeel. It's not as sharp. Okay. Um, everything sort of marries together better. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, number one is sharp. Yeah. You know how we talk about that pepper? pepperiness or the spiciness in the cigar that causes the 
got that stabby, pokey feeling. Yeah. That's what I'm getting right now. Yeah. It's not bad, though. All right, we're going to go back. I think next time we're going to do two, just two. Only two, why? Um, I just think this it'll pace better. Oh, yeah, because we're kind of a little bit silent. Yeah, yeah. And I think if it just goes between two, it'll be an easier contest. Which sucks because I have three old Forester picks. But I already know one of them's out of the running, so I can just take it out. Fair. The total wine pick, already a loser. Oh, yeah? In fact, we can just import, because we reviewed it before, we can just import its score. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's okay. going to be the Rayleigh's pick versus the Pinkies pick. Rayleigh's and Pinkies. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't care for the t the amount of the palette on a uh, number two. Yeah. Yeah. I don't dislike it. I really like the way it comes together. Yeah. But I like the flavors better. Number one. Number one's a lot sharper, but I don't know. Yeah. Yep. I know what I'm doing. Um. I want to give three one more taste, just to be fair to it. But I think I know where it lives. Yep, I know where it lives. Uh, good finish, though. We're going to call that up. All right, back to finish, and then impression. I can stop tasting. And we'll figure it out. And I will do the last taste. Yeah? I'll mix them all together for you so you don't have to do it. Oh, thank God. Thank the Lord. This fucking horseshit is what it is. <laughs> You're not There's right. another guy that does that. He's like, I'm going to blend these two together and see. And sometimes he's like, that's really good. And sometimes he's like, that's terrible. Like a train wreck almost. Yeah. I think I've done that once where it was an entire train wreck. Yeah, I'm just not uh, yes, sir. liking the flavor on number two. The palate's not there for me. Y'all let him know. All right, thanks, sir. Bye. I sent someone on a bourbon run for me. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, I mean, we're getting some good, good bourbon. Hopefully, here soon. The sister to uh, these three. Sweet wheat. I've Sweet never wheat. seen it in this market, ever. I feel by itself, when I'm not comparing it to anything, I like number two, but like comparing it to one and three, it, it, it's falling short for me. Um, and it has this really off flavor. Uh, you know what I would call that? Hmm. What it is for me? If it's the same off flavor as it is for you, it's um, sunscreen. Yeah. I can remember tasting that when I was a kid. So. Right? It's sunscreen. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> I mean, none of them are bad. Well, yeah, yeah, I just... But pitting them against each other, I, like I said, I feel like two, two, a two would be great by itself because I've had it by itself and I really enjoyed it. But yeah. When you're comparing them between others, it's just that note just sits there and it's noticeable compared to the rest. Um, I think Kevin's is going to come in second for me. Let's do some quick math. Sixty-six? Sixty-six. Um, Sixty-eight. Mm -hmm. 
76. So plus 10. Ah, math. All right. I'm still going through mine. Yeah, so Kevin here was at Rayleigh's, and not that it's a massive find, but saw a bottle. Didn't say anything about it. Comes up here a couple hours later, and he's like, hey, yeah, oh yeah, there was something else on the shelf. 1792, sweet something. Turn over. You saw sweet weeds? Yeah. <laughs> in my defense, I went in there for one thing, came out with three. That's fair. That's how that goes. I went in for a Red Bull, and it went terribly wrong. I, I went in to register my car because oh. they have that kiosk there. Oh, do they? Yeah. I didn't know that. It, and I went a month without registering because I completely forgot that I had to register. Don't you work for law enforcement? No. Ish. I work for probation. Ish. <laughs> law enforcement? <laughs> ah, I mean, that's neither here nor there. You think most of them remember to <laughs> register their cars? No. They drive around the force vehicle, so... <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, what do you got for numbers? Um, I don't have anything yet. Oh, he's still behind. Taking forever. What do we got? I mean, I took a phone call, so what are you going to do? Well, I mean, mine's bouncing back and forth, and while you're on the phone call, I was trying to talk a little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah. That we're not hearing you talk to... Uh, the bourbon hunter? The bourbon hunter, yeah. Who found us that Texas pick as well. Yeah, the Pinky's Old Forester pick. I don't know who picked it, but I'm calling him the brain. That's what we're going to call him. <laughs> right. mm. Definitely two picks next time, don't you think? Yeah. I think it's just one versus one. Yeah, because putting them against each other. I just wanted to see what they would what would happen, and I think, I think, Co Cody, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff is taking it. Uh, he took it on mine for sure. He took it on mine by eight points. Uh, I won't know yet. Let's see. Let me get that one, that one. I like that one a, lot, a bit. He's Let's literally see. drawing smiling faces on that paper. Same thing. Same <laughs> thing. 10, 14, 4, 5, 6, 7. 74 for Rayleigh's. For the court pick? Yes. All right. Uh, number three. Yeah, so that's going to be a 70 average. Yep, and then seventy-one for Minden. Uh oh, God, he's coming in third, so that's going to be a uh, sixty-nine. No, mm -hmm. sixty-nine-five. Sixty-nine-five. Yep. Okay. Seventy-seven for Rayleigh's one. So that's going to be a 76-5. Plus 10 points for the win, 86-5. And five points for the second place? Uh, since we... it was three, yeah, let's do five points for Rayleigh's Corp. I don't know. Do you want to do that? Because we're never going to do that. We're never going to do three again. No. Nah, we'll just, just call it zeros. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Uh, Jeff with the win from Rayleigh's one. He'll never watch this, so it won't matter, but you know. He may. You never know, especially if we get popular enough. Right. He might want to tune in and see us talking about his picks because he knows he's a, a liked picker around here. Uh, Bourbon Hunter. There we go. Is that better? Yeah. Something. <laughs> All right. Let's wrap this up. We got things to do. Yep. All right. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you on the next Bourbon Review. Actually, <laughs> Bourbon War? Uh, barrel Pick Battles is what barrel I came up battles. with. It might change before round two. We'll see you on the second one. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>